Good day, everybody. Today, we are going to talk about how to work with vectors. So I will share my computer screen with you. A plane flies at an air speed, speed in still air of 500 miles per hour on a bearing of north 35 degree east. An east wind, wind from east to west, okay, is blowing at 30 miles per hour. Find the plane's ground speed and direction, okay. X component of the plane's speed is 500 cosine of 55. Why 55? Because the plane flies with a at a bearing of north 35 degree east. That is its angle from the y-axis, which represents north direction, is 35 degree. Hence, the 90 minus 35 is equal to 55 is the plane's angle with the x-axis or towards east in the its direction. So, 500 cosine 55 is 286.788 i. i is the unit vector in the x direction. Now, x component of the wind speed is minus 30 i because it flows from east to west in the opposite direction. So, net x component speed is 286.788 i minus 30 i, which is 256.788 i. And y component of the plane speed is 500 sine 55, which is 409.576 j. J is the unit vector in the y direction. Hence, the plane's resultant speed is square root of 256.78 square plus 409.58 square, which is works out to 483.02 miles. What is the Plane's angle with the x-axis, positive x-axis, is tangent inverse of y component over x component, which is 409.58 divided by 256.78 or 79, you might say, or tangent of inverse of 1.595, or you can call it the arc tangent 1.595. That means we need to find the angle using the tangent inverse in our calculator. So, and please remember to set the calculator to measure the angle in degrees, which works out to 57.91 degree. Hence the plane's bearing will be 90 minus 50. So this is the angle the plane makes with the x-axis, positive x-axis. So the plane's bearing, which is the angle from the y-axis, is 90 minus 557.91, which is north 32.09 in the east ah. direction. This is the angle it makes with the y-axis. So its resultant speed is 483.02 miles per hour, and its bearing with the is north 32.09 in the east direction. That is the angle it makes with the y-axis. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner because I come back with new problem, new solutions. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and I will see you next time. Take care.